I've built a uh, tool for unbiased news. Uh, so I've built it using a Tiger Graph database, and uh, it's also a Chrome extension that works across social media sites and various uh, news sites. Uh, it helps users uh, to be aware of their inherent bias and in thinking, and also exposes them to different viewpoints. Uh, so. So the text I've, I've used is a uh, uh, so all the data is hosted on uh, Tiger Graph Cloud, and uh, we are running a lot of uh, similarity algorithms and entity detection algorithms uh, to convert the news data uh, to the graph database. Uh, I've also built a simple REST API application um, using Python Flask, and uh, uh, this data is being consumed by the Chrome extension, uh, which is built using JavaScript. Uh, so, uh, in the GitHub repository, I've given all instructions for setting up the project. So, uh, the data is being fetched from News Catcher API. Um, um, so, all the uh, data is fetched, and then uh, for creating the database, uh, you can run these commands. Uh, and then, uh, um, importing the data from the API is done periodically. Um, so this populates the database. Uh, we also have a, a series of uh, ratings for the news agencies, uh, which gives the bias and accuracy for each of the news sources. Uh, this is also uh, loaded using a script used, uh, to the graph database. So uh, once done, uh, this is how the graph looks. So uh, we have a source and a uh, source publishes a lot of articles and each article is about an event and events have entities so we are processing the text from the news api and then we are classifying them to entities uh, so based on this we can um, either get a similar news article related to the particular news that the user is viewing or we can also show them opposing or uh, articles with different viewpoints so all this is done periodically using a cron job uh, and then um, the data is being exposed through a rest api so um, you can take the chrome extension source code from the github uh, folder i have shared and then upload it to the uh, chrome extensions tabs once it is done um, whenever you access google or facebook twitter or any other news site uh, you will get these bias and accuracy ratings um, so uh, I have uh, classified various uh, types of um, bias and accuracy, which is also configurable. Uh, we can change it. So this is how a um, news article on Facebook looks. So here it's marked as accuracy high and the bias is towards left leaning. Uh, you can also get detailed view by clicking on the Chrome extension icon on the right side top right. So it gives a bias rating and accuracy and it also shows you similar news articles. So uh, so if it's a, a left leaning news agency, I'm showing similar news articles published by other left leaning agencies. And uh, but this means the user is in a bubble. So I'm also showing them other views. Uh, to make them aware of the uh, what's happening uh, around them so all this is configurable and uh, in the future i'm planning to um, uh, detect entity using some advanced algorithms and also instead of updating the graph uh, using a cron job i want to update it using a real-time database i hope you liked it thank you